take two and remember to press the record button next time James. Okay, the, the project I've got, um, Caravan Life, they're great but you are limited with space because sometimes you don't have the wall because it's windowed and stuff like that so where you put TVs or entertainment systems is normally always in a corner or stuff like that. So we've had that there for a while but we have thought for a long time it would be better if it was wall mounted but rather than looking to mount it directly to the wall and have all these unsightly cables and stuff like that showing we decided that we would build an entertainment wall mounted unit so that we could slide the TV in have all the cables and everything neatly uh, disguised behind that replace the fireplace with something with a flame effect so that it's attractive to look at and have that as a, a, a like a, chim a false chimney breast uh, in that sort of, so it won't come out too far and we'll get the TV and everything in and it'll look nice and neat and tidy and in fitting with the rest of the theme of the uh, caravan. Okay, that's a few items removed. Now when we first bought the caravan it had a mirror wall mounted here so I figured there would be some harder wood behind it so that things could be mounted like there because that's where the mirror was fastened into the uh, wall itself. <clears throat> so I can feel there, there, solid, there's a bit of a gap, doesn't feel like there's much there. So what I'm going to do is use this anchor point here and I'll probably put some ply, you know like a square piece of ply here, anchored to there and then obviously I can put wall 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 start again. I can put my wall mounted bracket uh, into the ply directly so that will be nice and secure. The fire unscrews very easily uh, and once I'd removed that I had a quick look and I've just got to undo these screws at the back here but already in situ nice little power point there so that's good. And that's that. That's the whole fireplace out. So now I can start measuring TV and where I want to put my first battens, which I'm going to secure. See this? This is nice and solid. The base is nice and solid, so those will be my anchor points. What I'm doing here is a quick measurement of the TV, which is four foot. Put my first screws in now and put my first batten in. Um, all I'll do now is measure 50 inches from there over there and make sure I've got a nice 50 inch gap in the middle because the TV is 48. So that gives me an inch either side so I can slide the TV in and out and also we're using the uh, thing I can tilt it forward and get to the plug sockets. Right, that's in nice now. OK, so that's the plate for uh, what I've put the mounting bracket on because obviously these caravan walls are not the strongest in the world. So I've found good strong anchor points where I can put the screws in. I know that it's going to hold. The, obviously just use the markings and the spirit level and then just secure them in and then probably put one screw in there as well, one screw in there just to anchor that in. And then that will be nice and solid against the wall now. There we go. So let's pull that into. Lights fading in and out of it. <clears throat> but you can see here now. I haven't actually fastened this, but. I've put this button up to here now, um, tested it, it's nice and level and that's in position perfect there as well. So I do have another button which I will go and fetch and I can secure that there then and then I'll secure it at the base and that's one side on then I'll do the other bit there um, <coughs> and that'll give me my box of how far I'm coming out and then I can work on the rest of it then. Okay, big point to remember when you're doing some filming, always press record, which I didn't. Okay, this is the state of play. Built the surround, 
um, secured it up, anchored it to all the major positions now. So she's anchored from top to bottom. She's nice and sturdy. There's no movement whatsoever in the frame. Uh, I've got some laminate now and it's grey and that's what I wanted to do the inside with. So laminate across here, down here. Uh, I replaced the backing plate with a larger piece of inch ply because I wasn't happy with the other one. I thought it might not be strong enough. So that's all in. Everything's secure now completely and it's just ready to create the box. I've also done the coax here ready um, and we'll be putting uh, obviously a power cable up here as well so I can put a, uh, the coax here, the double socket here as well so I can plug in the TV and the sound bar from this area here and also the coax. The lead I'm going to have will only have to be about that big then and uh, then I'll work on the fireplace tomorrow, the inset for that. Uh, but this is the bit, the state of play that I'm at now. So let's get this uh, laminate in and then I'm going to knock it on the head for the night, I think. Last night to finish off, <coughs> I started putting the, the, the grey cladding, uh, not cladding, sorry, the grey laminate up and really happy with the finish that it's given. Uh, obviously this now, once it's all in, enclosed, I can then, you know, you can go in, just wipe it, keep it tidy, and uh, if ever the TV has to come out or anything, it's sort of aesthetically pleasing to the eye as well. It keeps within the theme of the whole of the uh, caravan at the moment, which is having a mixture of greys and beige. So, finished doing that now with the shelf that the sound bar is going to rest on. So I'm going to seal the top now with the uh, off cuts, but what I'm going to do first is just do the uh, platform for the fire to sit on and then I know exactly what height to cut the backing piece for the lower part. So I'm going to do that now, fit that and then uh, crack on. Okay, this phase took quite a while. Um, because I did the wiring, there's a junction box there and that splits the cables off for me. Ready to put the sockets in where I need them um, and also I put all the battens in as well. Every button's in place now that I need so now it's just a case of cutting more of this uh, laminate to fit onto here and on there and then what I'll do is I will decide um, Obviously, sorry, I won't decide. The fire will dictate where we're going to put the next uh, button across so that uh, we can uh, box the fire in. I'm going to install the fire now, but uh, what I'm going to do is obviously here I can attach it. So I'm going to have the, the fire is going to be slightly flush uh, so that makes it easier for the putting the glass on and off for cleaning and should we want to change the effect when we feel like it. <coughs> Fire's in now so that's all secured and just did a little running test with the flame as well. Um, there's plenty of ventilation as well. All above there will be obviously behind the uh, MDF but that will be a space behind there so there's plenty of air circulation for the fire. It draws the air in, blasts it out of there. Right, took the TV out and the fire out because I need to get this completed. So that's all boxed in as you can see now, the framework around it. And obviously I fitted them two feet because it gives me something to slide the fire straight onto. So now I've cut these pieces, numbered them and they are going to go along the top there now. So I'm just going to fit them. Once they're fitted I'm going to go and cut the MDF and bring it in in four foot lengths. I've marked all of this nearly made a mistake. I was going to cut that out but I don't need to honestly so I've put do not cut. Marked all of this, that's where the fire is going and obviously that's where the uh, fake log store will be going. So I'm just what I'm going to do now is just make a couple of pilot holes so I can get the jigsaw blade in 
and then cut these. edges up now because that blade I used was a bit too rough so night we uh, or yesterday afternoon we put the first part of the frontage on of the uh, MDF and obviously just put the fire in just to see how it worked and see how it looked as well we were happy with that so <clears throat> I'm just going to finish off doing the sides now there as I have done with the laminate and uh, just get this side done and the underneath and then, uh, then we'll look at cutting the last bits of MDF to get this bit all covered. Get the aerial wire plugged in and the electrics finished off because I'm going to put a socket here. And put the TV mount up. Right, I've done the electrics and the aerial socket and also gone round with some uh, seam sealer or sealant and tidied up those joins which has made them seamless which is what it does so all I'm going to do now is fit the TV mount there and do the last cut for the side pieces down there and down this side I've only got one uh, electric socket there that I'm going to put in because that's going to be for the radiator but other than that, and I've put the extra support in here as well, and that'll be for the mantle. But yeah, she's ready, ready for cladding now, uh, or rather the MDF. So. so I'm going to attach that now and then I can get on with the side pieces
also about this corner being smart because we're having cornicing up there so I didn't mind rough cutting it. But that looks nice. That looks nice. So get that painted. I think the, the door will look nice because it'll contrast with the frame on the telly in the fire. If you don't like it when it's up, at least it's covered it for now. Yeah. For nothing. But well, I think it'll look nice. I it's think a... once it's up and it's done tidy, it'll look okay. What's up, baby? some LEDs and they're on the little wires here like that so I fed them through because they go up under and behind the TV to where the USB port is and then down through there behind the fire and down and they come out of the bottom there and then <clears throat> I'm now gonna fix I've got some little beams under there and I'm gonna attach some hooks and then I'm gonna thread the LEDs back and forth back and forth and then what they'll do when I put the false logs in or put the logs in there they'll down light onto the logs and it'll be just another extra feature so I'm going to uh, fit the hooks and thread the lights through now okay I've masked off this side because I'm going to paint this bit first uh, just to see what the colour uh, looks like and, uh, we'll decide whether we've gone too dark or not but, uh, yeah, so let's get some paint on it. Painting all complete and now I'm just going to go outside and prepare the mantle. But I'm happy with the work so far. So let's get this wood sanded down so it's ready.
which I'm cutting into logs, marking them off at ten and a half. And just cutting them out so that they can dry. The reason I wanted nice green pine is because it will smell nice and strong and it will give a nice scent in the room. They're all cut up now and I'm just going to leave them just to bake in the sun, just to dry out a bit more. Because uh, obviously I don't want any of the uh, sap weeping out uh, in the living room. So they'll just stay there for a bit now, just to dry out. Next phase is to uh, get stuck into the mantle now and uh, I'm going to rough, rough sand it first with the uh, grinder and the sander. I found the side that's got the most knots on it so that that would be good for the feature. Um, <clears throat> it's a piece of old decking board that uh, is from my wife's company and that will uh, that will be survived. So I'll start taking that first layer off now and get that wood colour and that grain showing up now. all rubbed down now. I am still going to sand it some more because this is rough um, with the grinder but I've got the grain through that I want to see so I'll just use the sander on it now and, and it's fatter that end and it is that end uh, but I didn't want equality all the way down um, so that's good I'm happy with that. the wood that's going to be a mountain clay. I've adjusted the jigsaw so it cuts at an angle so I can cut at that and then that will be attached to the wall and that will be attached to the mantle and it will slot in then. So I'll get that cut now. <coughs> right, cut my piece of wood. This is going to go against the wall. It's, uh, and this bit will be fastened to the mantle then it'll slide down and it'll sandwich onto that which will hold it in place so drill the hole here got my angle right marked on their outer so I don't make any mistakes I'm grinning because I uh, put it on the wrong way only putting one screw in it because I want to be able to adjust it level uh, if it's not right. So put one screw in that as well, and then all I've done, lift that up and then just rest it down. Obviously, I can move it so it's central as to where we want it. And there we go, nice and level, as you can see there, bob on. All I'm going to do now is just add some colour to it and I've gone for Georgian medium oak. Got a little test piece there so I can have a look at the colour. So I'll get a brush, apply it, but I want to get some gloves on first because this is wood stain. Have a little look and see what it looks like. So, get a wee bit of colour on there. Let's see what we think. Oh, all right. It goes on beautiful, doesn't it? That's a lovely stain, isn't it? Oh. 
Show the uh, grain up nicely on it as well. Time to add the Danish oil, and this will just uh, seal the wood. And I just want to get those grains to stand out nicely. So, like so, there, they're going to look lovely, really nice. Happy with that now. That's uh, that's soaked in. So I think I'll pop that onto the mantle and let that dry out properly. <laughs> 